Welcome to the Spell of Grace. This is Pastor Shogun Baje, and I'm bringing you God's Word today titled, The Concept of Grace. The concept of grace, as we have it in the New Testament, has been misunderstood by a lot of Christians, just because um, of the following reasons. Number one, lack of adequate and correct teachings on the subject of grace. And there are a lot of misconceptions, misunderstanding as touching grace because um, we do not find a lot of teaching on grace going on in the body of Christ. The very few preachers and teachers that are teaching on grace um, are teaching it um, vehemently and radically, but the awareness of the message of grace is still a little bit lean and slim in the body of Christ. And God has packaged this platform to um, enhance and better foster the message of grace. And so the concept of grace must be well understood because that is the big difference between the New Testament and the Old Testament. The Old Testament was all about the law. The New Testament is all about grace. Grace concept actually shows us the different ramifications and sides to what the grace message stands for. It's not just one side of it. It's not just the top of it or the bottom of it. The concept of grace gives us the holistic view to the message of grace and the complete and rounded understanding of the message of grace. And the concept of grace actually tells us that grace is all about somebody, and that's Jesus. The Bible tells us in the book of Gospel according to St. John, chapter 1 and verse 17, it says the, the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So the whole message and concept of grace hinges on the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the epitome of grace. He is the embodiment of grace. And to understand the concept of grace, we don't just have or take a first look um, or view of Jesus from the front view or the side view or the back view. We have to take a complete 3D view of Jesus Christ. And that gives us the full concept of grace. And we are going to be looking at who Jesus is and what Jesus has done for us. And because Jesus Christ is the substance of the message of grace, understanding Jesus, the person of Jesus, not by head knowledge, but by revelation, gives a complete view of grace and a complete perspective to grace. And that is why Jesus Christ is the embodiment of the grace of God. We never knew anything about grace until Jesus came. Jesus Christ is God's grace to you. Today, as you meditate on Jesus and focus on him, his love, his patience, his life, his miracles, and everything about him, the essentiality of his character, then you come to understand the message of grace. And the concept of grace is the 3D perspective of Jesus Christ, the length, the breadth, the depth of the love of Jesus Christ. And that's what the grace of God is all about. And that is the fullness of the grace of God that Jesus Christ represents to us. He has become to us from the Father the grace of God. And we can embrace him today by revelation as we study the word of God to see Jesus. And as we see him, we see the grace of God. Today, enjoy grace as you behold Jesus, looking unto him, the author and the finisher of our faith. God bless you.